Wow, guys. We passed the 400 subscriber mark. It's crazy to me. It's Saturday. Let's go. <laughs> Right, guys and just like that we have three work orders right off the bat okay one of them is a running toilet and it's not flushing properly the other one is a, a light in the bathroom is not working and the other one is uh the heat is not working all right so let's go check it out here we go here we are in the first work order and it's a uh, toilet that is not flushing and also that it was running so I already took the top off here and I could tell the problem already that the fill valve is not going down. So let's see. We might have to, we might have to replace the fill valve. Let's see what happens. All right guys. So the problem here is that the fill valve is uh, placed wrong. So it gets stuck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fill valve off and put it the proper way. I'm just gonna turn it around a little bit and that'll help it for getting stuck right there. All right, let's do that now. All right, so as you can see, we moved it to the right a little bit. It's not touching with this anymore. So it shouldn't get stuck anymore. Let's find out, let's see if it runs. <laughs> Perfect. That's it. That's what it was. So when, so what happened, the problem was that once the water was going up, it got stuck. This part right here got stuck right here with this part, and it wouldn't let it rise. So it just kept running. All right. That's it. On to the next one. We are here in the in the P Tech. They said it's not it's not it's not heating up. And I can tell you already. See if you guys see the problem. So I'm cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut it off because I like to shut it off first. Okay, we'll shut it off. Then when we turn it back on, we'll put it on heat and let the compressor kick in. All right, here we go. I'll let it, I shut it down for a few for a few minutes. So now we're gonna turn it on and now we'll put it on heat. And we just wait till the compressor kicks in. And we should be good. Hopefully, let's see. All right, guys, compressor kicked in. Nice warm air, nice hot, it's nice and hot. I'll put it to the max right now so the room could get warm. But it's definitely heating up. So that's good news. All right, I think we're gonna be good. On to the next. Just like I said in other videos, what happens is uh, some people don't know how to use a P-Tech and um, they turn it on. What they do is they just turn it on and they expect it to, to heat up the room right away, not knowing that it's on cold or, or whatever, but it's working perfectly. Room, the room is getting nice and warm now we have another one of these calls in another room but I have to go there later on because they're still sleeping all right let's go see the no light in the bathroom all right guys we got a tricky one okay now it could only be two things with this light because when I came when I came in right now and I tried to turn it on it didn't turn on when I took off the cover and I moved the and I moved the lights a little bit, it turned on. So it could either be two things. It could be the ballast is going bad or the light switch is no good. So to prevent anything, any future problems, we're just gonna eliminate that ballast. Okay? And you guys already saw how I 
eliminate the ballast. If you haven't, I'm gonna put a, a link to that video in the description below so you guys can see it. The light switch could be bad too, okay? So let's do that now. All right, I'm just gonna give you a quick crash course, just like the other video. We're gonna cut that red wire. Basically what I'm doing, I'm cutting all the wires from the ballast, okay? And then we're just gonna put it direct, the blue ones to the black main and the red one to the white. That's all you're doing, okay? And then once we finish that, we'll put on the new, the, the special bulbs that I showed you in the other video. All right, guys, so as you can see, no more wires going to the ballast. I cut them, so the red is going to the white and the black is going to the blue ones over there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the special bulbs on. I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna test it out, see if it, um, see if it works. If it goes on, then that's good. But if it goes on and then shuts off or goes on and whenever it wants to, then we're gonna have to definitely switch out the switch. Okay, so we'll put the, the bulbs in. Now let's check it out. See, this time it turned on right away. Yep, before I had to do it like two or three times before it turned, before it turned on. So it might've been the ballast guys. So I'm just gonna be playing with it for a little bit before I make my final decision of switching out the light switch. Yeah, I think that's what it was. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around for, with it some more. And if everything looks good, I'll put everything back. All right, guys, so after testing it for a long time here, at least five minutes, it goes on on the first shot. Now, before it didn't, before it didn't go on on the first shot, I had to do it like three or four times before it, uh, before it turned on. So we figured out the problem. It was definitely the ballast was gonna go any minute. All right, so let's put everything back on it, the cover, and we'll move on to the next one. All right, guys, I'm happy that, uh, that it was just the ballast because I am very limited on, on light switches. I only have like three left, so I have to place an order today. I didn't know that we were running low on light switches. But as you can see, it's working on the first shot. So that's awesome. All right, and same thing with the heat lamp. All right, on to the next one. So we have two more work orders left. And one of them is uh, another no heat call. And the other one is another bathroom light. Okay, but that bathroom light was put on yesterday by the housekeepers. So, but they didn't know and they rented out the room. Now, nobody has complained yet. But, um, so later on, we'll check that out. It's, it's most likely what I just went through right now. Now, with those ballasts, guys, uh, like I said, we have those special bulbs that don't require ballasts. So we're trying to put that in every bathroom as much as we can because that eliminates the ballast. And you know the ballasts are a pain in the butt. All right? So with that, you go in, like, a, like the problem I just had, you go inside the room and you troubleshoot. It could either be the switch or it could be the ballast. It's just one of those two. You never know. Or bad bulbs, of course. But um, thank God it was not the light switch because, like I said before, I'm very limited. And speaking of which, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in the computer right now and start ordering some stuff because I've noticed that we're we're running kind of low on light switches, and I need a, a kit of O-rings as well. So I'm gonna order that instead of going to the Home Depot. I'm just gonna order a box of, of light switches because we we we're gonna need them. We're gonna need them. All right. So with that said, uh, I have to wait till 11 o'clock to go to those other two rooms. So we'll wait for that. In the meantime, I'm gonna do the pool readings because it's already, yeah, it's gonna be 10 o'clock already. So we're gonna do the pool readings. Um, I usually do pool readings um, between four or five times a day. All right, so I did, I did one this morning at 7.30 in the morning, and now I'm gonna do one now at 10 o'clock. And then that's it. Then we'll go to those rooms and check it out. But anything could happen from here to there. Let's go.
All right, guys, I didn't even make it to the pool before they call me. We have a, a refrigerator problem. I don't know what it is. They just say, they just put down refrigerator. It could be anything. Let's check it out. <laughs> I laugh at these work orders. Very easy fix. Look, what does that tell you? It's never going to work if that thing is not plugged in, right? Never going to work. All right, let's plug her in. She's on. All right, on to the next. I wish all my work orders could be like that simple. They probably were just cleaning and they unplugged it or somebody just unplugged it and never plugged it back in. All right, let's go to the pool now for real. I just did the pool readings. Everything is A-OK. -okay. And so now we're gonna, we're gonna see what's next, but I do wanna jump in those two rooms that I was telling you about just to get that out of the way. All right, so let's see what's next. All right, guys, I finally went to go check out that uh, light bulb situation. It just needed to be changed. That was it, very simple. And the heater, the, uh, it was unplugged from the wall. So I guess they had a lot of kids in there. So I guess they were curious and they just unplugged it. But it's done. And just like that, the day is over. That's right. Not a lot of work orders. A bunch of little small work orders, which is great. That means we're doing our thing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, enjoy the my weekend, and, um, and that's it. But I got great videos coming up this weekend, so stay tuned. All right. So, of course, like always, like the video, share the video, and, of course, tell a friend to tell a friend about the Zuma Vlogs. All right. Saturday's done. We out. Peace.